so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi! Whoa! And look at where we're at! Yeah, today we're at Aquarium of Boise in Boise, Idaho. And this place is awesome. Yeah, it's an aquarium. Have you ever been to an aquarium before? Yeah, it's so cool because they have so many marine animals here. Yeah, marine animals are animals that live in the water. Well, shall we go explore? Let's go. Whoa. Oh, there's so many different kinds of fish in here. Whoa, they're all back there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa, look up here. Looks like a list of different types of fish. Oh, look at that one. That one's called a yellow tang. Yeah, and it's all yellow. <laughs> I wonder why it's called yellow tang. <laughs> Ooh, and look at this one. It says purple tang. Ooh, looks like it's purple and yellow. Whoa, Ooh, and that one way over there. Whoa, powder blue tang. Wow. Yeah, it's blue and yellow. Okay, let's try and find them. Um, let's find the yellow tang. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty distinct looking, huh? All yellow. Okay, not that one. <gasps> Wait, there's one way over there. Do you see it? It's so far back there. Oh, it's hiding. Hello, yellow tang. <laughs> Look up there. Yeah, an orange, white, and black fish. <gasps> I know what that is. Look up here. Yeah. That's the fish. It's a clownfish. Look up there. Do you see that blue fish? Yeah, it's just pure blue. It's really bright and vibrant. And look up here. Whoa, it's a blue damselfish. It's so bright and blue and colorful. Cool. See you later, fish. <laughs> Whoa, more fish. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this in here. Wait a second. This looks like the same shape as the last clownfish, but this one is just black and white. Yeah, do you see it right there? Yeah, a black and white striped fish. Here comes another one. Wait, yeah, this is actually a type of clownfish. Yeah, but can you think of an animal that lives on land that's black and white stripes? Yeah, a zebra. Wow, cool. These are the zebras of the ocean. <laughs> see you later, clownfish. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, that looked like a puffer fish to me. Whoa, actually, it's a porcupine puffer. Yeah, looks really smooth right now. But if it gets frightened or scared or angry, what it does is its cheeks puff out and its whole body, yeah, becomes spiky. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Super cool. <laughs> Whoa, and look down here. Whoa, do you see this? Wow, looks like an eel. Yeah, this is actually a yellowhead moray eel. And it's just hanging out in the rocks. Yeah, just chilling. Yeah, that's what eels like to do. Hang out in the rocks and just poke their heads out. <laughs> All right, see you later. Fun hanging out with you. <laughs> oh, what else do they have here? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Looks like an old boat that then water got into and rocks over the years. Whoa, it's a perfect fish habitat. Oh, and look at what I have. <laughs> yeah, some snacks for the fish. Yeah, just like how you and I like snacks. Yeah, fish like snacks too. Oh, and they said I can actually feed these fish. All right, first, let's try these peas. There we go. <laughs> All right, pour it in my hand. And then we'll see if the fish like to come and eat some food. Here you go. Whoa, do you see all those fish? Yeah, those are Japanese koi fish. There's so many of them and they're so colorful. All right, we have a little bit more food over here. All right, hello, Japanese koi fish. Yeah. All right, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, they're so cool looking. They're so colorful. Yeah, some are 
orange and black, some are white and black, and some are white, black, and orange. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> All right, what else is around here? Whoa, look at this tank. This tank is massive. Looks like the fish are all on the other side. Oh, but there's a lot of gallons and liters of water in here. Oh, oh, and look at this. Whoa, looks like a scuba diver. Whoa, do you see this helmet? It looks like a port right here. Yeah, scuba divers have this area so then they can see while they're underwater. Ooh, and scuba divers wear this outfit so then they can stay warm under the water and so they can breathe underwater. You know how you and I have to hold our breath underwater? Scuba divers can breathe while they're underwater. Cool. Ooh, and do you see this big weight? Yeah. Us humans, we tend to float. So this weight is holding the scuba diver on the bottom of the sea floor. So then this scuba diver can work. Yeah, looks like the scuba diver works underwater. Wow! Whoa, look at all these tanks! Whoa, this is so cool! Ooh, and look at this one! It's really big and bright and vibrant. Yeah! Do you see that? Yeah, that orange thing? That is actually a sea anemone. Oh, and do you see those rock looking things up there? Yeah, they're also pretty bright. Those are coral. Yeah, sea anemones and coral. Yeah, they're actually animals. They kind of just look like rocks, huh? Those coral do? <laughs> well, hey, do you see how bright they are and just vibrant in color? Yeah, it's actually because there's algae that lives inside the sea anemone. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Whoa, oh look. You see how that fish is just hanging out with that sea anemone and right next to all that coral? Yeah. Coral is actually really, really important because a bunch of fish like these ones actually live in all the coral. Yeah, it's just like how you and I live in a house. Yeah, these fish love to live inside the coral. Oh, and around the coral and use sea anemones as a nice soft bed. <laughs> so cozy. Oh, oh, and look at this one. Oh, it's really bright and green. Whoa, so cool. Hey, remember how we saw that eel hanging out in the rock and the coral? Yeah, they're just hanging out in their homes. <laughs> See you later, enjoy your homes. <laughs> Look over here. Wow, this is a big tank. Whoa, do you see that fish way over there? Whoa, yeah, there's a fish way back there. It's so big. It's a bumblebee grouper. Yeah, and actually they live to be 80 to 100 years old. But this one's only about 10 years old. So it's gonna get way bigger. Whoa, whoa, these are some big fish in here. Whoa, look at these. Hello, hey, and look at the bottom. Whoa, do you see all those? Yeah, they definitely look like sharks, huh? <laughs> Look at them just hanging out out the bottom. Whoa. Whoa. Look at these fish. More big fish. Yeah, these are Paku. Yeah, Pakus to be exact, because there's many of them. Whoa, and they kind of look like really big piranhas. Yeah, and actually, they eat vegetables. They're herbivores. Yeah, you see how big they are? Whoa. And actually, let me show you something right up here. It's really cool. Yeah, here's the teeth. Do you see this? Yeah, they kind of look like human teeth that they have, huh? Whoa. And I have a big treat for us. Yeah, these Pakus, I bet, are very hungry. And we have a nice yummy snack for them. Yeah, these are almonds. Watch out, they might splash. Whoa, look at them go. Whoa! Whoa! I'm throwing them down so then they hear and see them splash. There we go. Yeah, it's like they're falling off of trees. Whoa! Here you go. Whoa! They must be really hungry. Let me do a few at the same time. Whoa! 
Oh, don't worry, everyone. There's more for everyone. Here you go. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Whoa. All right, here's some more. <laughs> wow. Aren't they cool? They must be very, very hungry. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Wow, wasn't this so much fun learning about marine animals together? Yeah, I had a great time learning with you. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video though. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Lippy. Good job. All right, see you again. <laughs>